Example 1, Photo Enlargement. Let's say you have a photo which is 5 inches by 7 inches. And you're going to enlarge this so that the new photograph is four times the original height and length. Which means we have 28 inches and we have 20 inches. How does the area of the photograph change? Well, you can figure this out a number of ways. Since we're increasing by a factor of four for the one-dimensional, this means that for the two-dimensional, our area is going to increase by four squared, which is 16. You could have also just actually found out the areas. The area of the original figure is five times seven, which is 35 inches squared. The area of the other one is 20 times 28, which is 560 inches squared. 560 is 16 times 35. So again, we see that increase by a factor of 16. What matters is that the area is 16 times larger. And that's because 16 is 4 squared. Let's look at another example. For the following similar figures, so you do have a two-part example here, I want you to find first the ratio of the red side length to the blue side length. Then give me the ratio of the red area to the blue area. And finally, I want you to find the missing area, whether it's red or blue. Try this on your own first, and then resume the video when you're ready to check your solution. These are the figures you have for the first one. We have a side of 2 to a side of 6, and the red figure has an area of 2 feet squared. For the second one, let's get rid of this. There we go. We have a side of 7 and a side of 9, and the blue has an area of 210 inches squared. Okay, our answer for the first one. The ratio of the side lengths is 2 to 6, which reduces down to a 1 to 3 ratio. This means that the ratio of their areas is 1 squared to 3 squared, which is actually 1 to 9. If their areas is, are in a 1 to 9 ratio, so red to blue is in 1 to 9, we know red has an area of 2, and we want to find the area of blue. then we can solve this proportion. I'm going to cross multiply here. So I get x equals 2 times 9, which is 18. That's my area. I can also realize, though, that if we're increasing the side length by a factor of 3, then the area increases by a factor of 3 squared, which is 9. And that's why we do 2 times 9, which is 18. There's a couple of different ways you can solve these. The important thing is that you just recognize the relationship between length and perimeter, which is a one-dimensional measure, and area, which is a two-dimensional measure. How about this one? Our ratio of side lengths is 7 to 9, which means our ratio of areas is 7 squared to 9 squared, or 49 to 81. This one's a little trickier. So I'm going to set up my proportion. 49 to 81 equals the area of the red to the area of the blue. I'm going to cross multiply. I get 49 times 210, which is 10290 equals 81 times x. x equals 10290 one, over 81, which is about 127.037 inches squared. And that is my area for the red.